block is much bigger than the famous monolith of Baalbek in Lebanon, but there is clearly a cultural connection between these sites. Here is the Baalbek monolith, and as we can see, it's very similar to the Uralic one. They were giants indeed, and they left many interesting monuments and even burial sites after them. Finnish language is said to be based on Uralic mother language. Sumerian language was also finno ugric and it's obvious that this ancient megalith culture was finno ugric uh, It continued in Sumeria, ancient Egypt, and even in South America. I have detailed this uh, ancient finno ugric culture in my book Mehavirut Mahabharata Part 1, and it's available in web bookstores. There are many giant megaliths also in Finland, but they are listed as natural formations. However, they are clearly made by intelligent beings with some technology unknown to us, and they are enormous indeed. Curiously, many rocks have some part of them cut, and megalith blocks are placed tightly next to each other to form a wall. There may be some ancient burials inside of these cut rocks. The stone mounting is also very interesting because there seems to be a hand carved in it, and this giant hand seems to be pointing to the right. You see here clear lines forming a hand and its fingers point to the right. Well, I became curious with this hand and what on earth it was pointing. Laser scanning map reveals some interesting things about this site indeed. There is a giant rectangular block, enormously 77 meters long, placed in the other side of this mountain. It's like a roof for an open area under it, which is 27 meters high. This could have been a, a living place for some ancient giant or a burial site. It opens the south as it was probably a living place. Now we go to Porvo in Finland. There is also an interesting monument which has a likely connection to giants. This hill was used as a defensive place and there was activity during the Middle and the Iron Ages. However, its original purpose was likely to be a giant's burial site and the hill was constructed as a memorial place. Geologists explain this hill as a formation of the Ice Age, but it's clearly artificially made and uh, there is also a striking similarity with the Potensky crater in Siberia. Uh, here we have a laser scanning map of this hill, and there is a giant body indeed, and we can see this body right here on the map. This Porvo hill was probably originally similarly shaped as this Patomsky crater in Siberia. There may have been similar egg-like formation here in the Burbo Hill, as, as we can see in the Patomsky crater. And this enormous body placed here next to the hill is clearly a burial site. And a similar, similar burial site may be here in Siberia as well. Google Map shows some interesting things here. Uh, we see the Patomsky crater here, and uh, only one and a half kilometers away from it, we can see enormous giant walls, which could have been the living place of, of this giant and his fellows. And uh, here we can see a curved construction, uh, outer walls of the city of this giant buried here all around. Giants left their fingerprints in many places. These Uralic megaliths tell us true history of Sumerian and other Caucasian finno people who became known as Arians and Habirus in later times. 